Uh, random outbursts of energy. So she, she has a puppy. So she says, my puppy is, can have random outbursts of energy that cause her to play very aggressively and even dangerously. Normal, she's, Lee, she's a really good girl and very good with her training. Just sometimes she goes too far and will growl, bark, scratch, jump at my legs, um, bite super hard at my feet. Positive reinforcement, distracting with something else and ignoring the behavior does not seem to be working. I'm kind of at a loss because she's hurting me and my family when she does this. Um, but she gets lots of exercise. So how do you deal with this? When I have a puppy that do that, that is doing that, I put them away. I will actually like, if, if I'm playing with my puppy and he won't redirect to a toy, then I will leave the room. And if for some reason I can't leave the room or that doesn't help, then I will actually put the puppy away. So one of the things that I have, I have seen puppies do what you're describing for a couple of reasons. One is that they get overly excited and they can't control themselves anymore. But a lot of times I think that they do that because they need a nap, because they need a break. So the puppies that have lived in my house in the last couple of years seem like they do that behavior, that kind of crazy over-the-top play that you, you have really have a lot of trouble redirecting, they do that when they're tired. Now, not always, but a lot of the time. So with that, with a, with, with this type of behavior, the first thing that I try to do is redirect. So if I'm playing with my puppy, he gets my skin, I'm going to try to redirect to a toy. And when he gets the toy, yay, lots and lots of treat, or not, well, you could use treats, but lots and lots of play, lots and lots of praise, right? If he won't redirect to the toy, then I'm actually going to get up and leave so that he can see when you do that, the play ends. So when you're watching a group of dogs play with each other or a group of puppies play with each other, when one puppy hurts another puppy, that puppy will usually yelp, but then they will stop playing. The play will stop at least for a few moments. So what you want to show your puppy is that when he does this, the play ends. And you can do that by getting up and leaving the room. Stepping over a baby gate is the preferable way. Um, and then, you know, step over the baby gate, wait 10 to 20 seconds, then go back into the room and engage with a toy. And if he won't play with the toy, then you go back out again. And you keep going in and out and in and out until he'll engage with the toy and then you play really well. The other option, though, is I have had puppies do this to me, what you're describing, and I will actually just pick them up and like pop them in their crate and close the door. And it's very non-emotional. They're not being scolded. I'm not throwing them in there, I'm not scruffing them. But a lot of times I have noticed the puppies in my house do this behavior because they're exhausted. And so if I can just pick them up and put them in their crate, a lot of times they'll fall asleep. And then when they come out, they're much better behaved. But think about it like, what your puppy needs is two things. He needs to learn how to play with toys so that, or she needs to learn how to play with toys. So that should be one of your, one of your big goals throughout the day is just look how much fun it is to play with me and a toy, like gentle tug of war, fetch, that kind of thing. But when his, when her skin gets, when her teeth get your skin, then the play should end. And only for up to 30 seconds. I mean, not a long time. Puppies have very short attention spans. So ideally, the play ends for a few seconds, and then you get to go back to playing, and you try to play with a um, with a toy. So Jamie said, just like a toddler. And yes, I have had lots of puppies come through my house that remind me so much of toddlers that when they get tired, they either get crabby or they get overly excited. And if I either pick them up and force them to hang out in my arms, or I pick them up and I put them in a crate, they just... Like they just go to sleep. And then when they come out, they're much, they're much happier because they've just had a nap. And then we 